Is being a good person worth it? A study at Harvard in 2009 called that into question. Let me ask you this. Do you think having good character will motivate others to treat you well? Evidence suggests not. The evidence suggests no good deed goes unpunished. Psychologists Daniel Wagner and Kurt Gray ran an experiment to see how ordinary folks treat people of varying moral reputation. They divided humanity at large into four moral categories. Good, like Mother Teresa. Bad, like Ted Bundy. Neutral, like a bank teller. And victims, like orphans, for instance. Then they took a survey. Half the participants were told to imagine a pill that creates pleasure. And half were told the drug creates pain. Then they were each told they have three of these pills and they were asked to divvy them up between different pairs of those moral types. So for instance, here are three pain pills. How are you going to divide them up between the Dalai Lama and an unknown high school teacher? Some of the results were perfectly predictable. Ted Bundy got more pain, orphans less. But there was a surprise in the data. Who deserves more pleasure and less pain, the Dalai Lama or a random radiology tech? The good person or the neutral person? You'd think the good, right? That's not how it played out. The good people were allocated less pleasure than the neutral nobodies and significantly more pain. Thus, the authors sardonically observe virtue is its own punishment. So there you have it. Be principled at your own risk.